Do you use insulin pens and do you want to save money and lower your blood sugars effectively? Then this video is for you. In this video, I'll be showing you five insulin pen hacks that you most likely didn't know. And I promise you, you'll be walking away with valuable tips on how to save money on your insulin, how to make sure that your insulin works the most effectively and injection tips that will help you lower your blood sugars even faster. And as a bonus, I'm going to throw in a sixth hack where I'm going to show you how to get the features of an insulin pump for your insulin pens without having to pay that $6,000 price tag for an insulin pump. I'm Christelle from Diabetes Strong and I've been living with type 1 diabetes since 1997 and I've been managing my blood sugar using insulin pens ever since my diagnosis. Today I use Novolog for my mealtime insulin and I use Levimir as my long acting insulin. And yes, I know. Norway Nordisk is discontinuing Levimir in the US, so I need to figure out another option for that. But for now, I'm still using Levimir. And in this video, I'll be sharing my six diabetes hacks that will hopefully also help you save money and make life with diabetes a little easier. Let's start with the money saving part. And if you do not have a copay for your insulin pens, well, I envy you, but I suggest that you just skip ahead in the video. First, let's address how much insulin you'll be throwing away if you just accept that your insulin pen is empty whenever it claims to be. When your insulin pen is empty, you can't dial up the dial any further, but the reality is there's actually still liquid gold in there. This has really been bothering me. I actually did a whole video just about that. So the way I've solved for this, and this is a hack, I got a box of syringes and I draw out those last units of insulin. A quick note on this though, you do have to make sure that your syringe and your insulin is compatible. So my insulin pens are U100 and the syringe has to be U100 as well. If you have a U200, it has to be a U200 syringe. Another money saving hack is to use copay cards to help lower the cost of your insulin. We're starting to see reductions in insulin costs here in the US, which is great. And a lot of people will see that from 2024, their copay costs will be $35. Again, awesome. But unfortunately, this is not the case for everyone. All of 2023, my copay was $75 per prescription. That was painful. So what I did was I went online and I downloaded the manufacturer's copay cards and that actually reduced my copay quite significantly. How much you can save tends to change year over year, but I did go and I downloaded the Novolog as well as the Humalog copay cards. And as you can see here, there's a potential for saving quite a bit of money. I only looked up the copay cards for Humalog and Novolog, but there are also copay cards available for a lot of other insulins. To find a copay card, just open a browser, type in for example, Humalog copay card or whatever insulin you're looking for. I'm gonna click the first one here and it'll open right up. I have to confirm I have commercial insurance or that I'm paying cash. And here I then have to confirm that I'm in the US and that I'm not on a Medicare Medicaid. And there we go, that is the copay card. A lot of copay cards can only be used in combination with a commercial insurance. However, there are also programs available for people who do not have insurance or people who are low income. So try and look up patient assistant programs, or if you use a Novo Nordisk product, go to their My Insulin RX program and check that out. And my final money saving hack is to not use my insurance to cover my pen needles. That's just way too expensive. Of course, you do need a pen needle to actually get the insulin out of your insulin pen. But the thing is, most of the pen needles available will work with pretty much any insulin pen. And the thing is, in most places, you don't need a prescription to buy pen needles. I used to get a prescription for the BD Ultra four millimeter needles, and I would use my insurance to help pay the cost of those. But remember how I said my copay was $75? Well, that also applied to my pen needles. So I stopped using my prescription, I stopped using my insurance to pay for them, and I started buying them online. I've ordered a few different brands from Amazon, but my favorite so far has been the Diathrive brand. Uh, a box of Diathrive pen needles is $9, and if you order for $25 or more, it's free shipping. I also tried another cheap brand from Amazon called Metfine, those were $8 a box. Unfortunately, not all the pen needles work though. How can a pen needle not work, you might ask? Well, I do an air shot before every injection to make sure that insulin is flowing. And the thing is with some of the MetFine needles, 
insulin was clearly not flowing because nothing was coming out. So, you know, those needles I just had to toss. So yeah, there are cheaper options, but not all of them are worth it. Now that we talked about saving all the money that we can, let's move on to getting the most effective insulin injection. And the first hack is to keep your insulin at the right temperature. Thing is, if your insulin gets too hot, it can lose its ability to lower your blood sugars effectively. And I mean, that is the main reason why we inject insulin, right? Unopened insulin should be stored in the fridge. Opened insulin, so the insulin pen that you're using, should actually not be stored in the fridge. More about why in a second. Your insulin, opened or unopened, should not be exposed to temperatures higher than 86 Fahrenheit, so that's 30 degrees Celsius. Or you risk that it'll go bad. And it's really hard to see if your insulin is bad. You can do a visual inspection, and if it's cloudy or discolored, you probably want to toss that, but it might not. It might just look like your insulin. Another way to tell that your insulin's probably gone bad is that if it's not lowering your blood sugars as expected. My hack for keeping my insulin at the right temperature when it's really hot outside is to use a small cooler. So this one is from a brand called For All Family. I'll leave a link to that down in the video description. What I like about this one is that it's really light and it's compact, so it's easy to haul around. Now let's go back to why you do not want to store your opened insulin in the fridge. And that is because doing an injection with cold insulin can be more painful. Ow. And we don't want that. One of my favorite insulin pen hacks for quickly lowering blood sugars is to do the injection into the muscle. Okay, so hear me out. I know that injecting directly into the muscle is generally not recommended. However, injecting into the muscle can actually lower blood sugars much faster than if you inject into fat. I'll generally only use this approach if my blood sugars are really high or if they're like lingering, it's like one of those stubborn highs that is hard to get down. I'll do an in-muscle shot, but the thing is, it often, it tends to sting and it can even hurt a little bit, but it will most often lower blood sugars really effectively. If you decide to try out this technique, you do have to be careful. Again, since it can lower blood sugars really quickly, be mindful of that so you don't end up with a low blood sugar. It might also be a good idea to just discuss this strategy with your medical team, just to talk through the pros and the cons. When I do a muscle injection, I usually inject into my shoulder, into my delt, um, and I, since I use a four millimeter needle, it's a fairly easy one hand injection. With a four millimeter needle, I don't have to inject in an ankle, and I don't need to pinch the skin before doing the injection. Since it can sting or hurt a little bit, I definitely recommend that you grab your room temperature <laughs> insulin pen and not one directly from the fridge. Now that I showed you how to save the money and how to make sure that your insulin works effectively, let's now move on and I'll show you how you can get the features of an insulin pump for your insulin pen without actually having to get an insulin pump. Well, almost all of the features, you still have to do the manual injections with your insulin pen. There are a lot of really brilliant things about an insulin pump. However, the 24 seven delivery of rapid acting insulin, as well as the tubing or even the non-tubing pot, it's just not the right solution for me. But I still want some of the features of an insulin pump. I still want help calculating my doses. I want something that can keep track of my active insulin on board. I want the reporting. And in this hack, I'll show you how to get all of that without the pump. There are actually quite a few different options on how to do this. I have, let's say the Mercedes version, <laughs> um, but there are also some free versions available. Let's go over those first. For years, I used a free app called Rapid Calc. It's still available. Unfortunately, if you're in the US, you can't just download it. You have to use a workaround. If you need help on how to figure that out, leave me a comment down below this video and I'll help guide you. It can help you calculate your insulin dose based on your current blood sugar, your carbohydrate intake, and your IOB, your insulin on board. No more math on the fly. And it'll even keep track of your IOB. It also has reporting. The reporting is not brilliant. It's really basic, but it's there. Another free option is the Omni Insulin Dose Calculator. It's very basic. It will calculate your dose based on your carbohydrates and your blood sugars. There's no reporting, there's no app, but it does the basic math for you. And then we have the InPen. This is a smart insulin pen and it can pretty much do anything a pump can do except for actually delivering my insulin. It's manufactured by Medtronic, so you know, the pump manufacturer. It's a reusable insulin pen, so that means I keep the pen and I just change out the insulin cartridge. The battery life is one year and the pen will automatically Bluetooth 
all my doses to the InPen app. And the app is really the brains of this whole product. Here I can calculate my doses, see my IOB, my active insulin board, set up my insulin dosing reminders, and see my dosing reporting. I have linked it to my Dexcom CGM, so I can also see my blood sugar levels in the app and how my doses impact my blood sugars, which I find super helpful. It even has a temperature alarm, so if my insulin gets to those 86 Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius, I'll be alerted. This is really one of the most effective tools in my diabetes toolbox. I absolutely recommend it to anyone. I should mention that this is a prescription device, so you do need a prescription from your doctor, and also it can be excessively expensive. However, Medtronic, the manufacturer, does have a coupon. And with that, you can pay as little as $35 for your in-pen. Do you have any insulin pen hacks? Are you going to try any of mine? Leave me a comment down below this video. Do you want to learn more tips and tricks, such as how to avoid insulin injection bruising or where to inject insulin? Then check out this playlist. If you like this video, please give it a like and leave me a comment down below. Also remember to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. That is that little bell. That way you'll be informed whenever I post new content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.